Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this piano tutorial, we'll be learning the song Alpha and Omega. And this song is in C sharp. And basically what I'll be doing is going through the song and showing you guys different substitutions and passing chords, um, different extensions to chords that you can use for this song. And I'll teach it in a way that you can basically try to implement it into other songs that you may try to learn, all right? So I'll go through it um, a certain way and then at the end of the video I'll basically improvise over the song and play it a bunch of different ways, alright? So for this song we start off on the 5 and what I try to do for this song in particular is maintain that melody. So the song goes right that's the beginning melody so what we are going to do is form a chord around that first melody so you and what I'm playing here is basically a 4 over 5 or F sharp over A flat with its fifth you can even add the ninth right here so you then right here what I like to do instead of going to the five so something like you are alpha instead of doing that we can do something like you are and this is basically a five chord only with a different um different extensions and I'm basically playing a F sharp diminished seventh chord on my right hand still over that five chord so you Then for the one chord, um, we would regularly go to the C sharp or the basic one, but we can try to add different extensions. And one of my favorite um, extensions is this one, or my voicings. One of my favorite voicings for C sharp is this one. And it's basically a, a C sharp major seventh. I just added this extra note right here, which is the sixth or the third, um, the thirteenth and that's B flat and that makes it a major 7 13 right so you are alpha. then we go into the 7 or 5 over 7 and oh. then again we bring back a different diminished chord that we are playing right behind the next chord which is a E flat minor right the reason why you can use this diminished chord or the way that I form it is I know that my next chord is E flat E flat minor so I go a half step down and I just count three half steps up and you just form that diminished chord right or diminished seventh chord so you are alpha and omega. then here like I said before the chord that we go to is E flat minor seventh, but we also have the option of switching or substituting this chord for the flat seven, something like this. Instead of playing E flat minor seventh, I take the C sharp and bring it down to a B. It's basically a B, a B major seventh, only voiced differently. So right there what I did was I was on the flat 7th then I just go back to the 5 to resolve it back into the 1 to end that first verse. And, and the voicings that I chose for the 5 is this one. It's basically an altered chord. And that's the voicing that I chose for the 5. Then we go back to the one using the same voice. Um, then we go, we again maintaining that melody. This is a one over three chord. We were then a four chord. Worship you. Then we go into a two minor seven flat five or a two half diminished. And that's basically a F sharp minor over the two, which is E flat. And I like to add this note here to maintain the melody once again. So we worship you, our Lord. 
Then we go into a one over five chord. So we worship you, our Lord. Then here we go into the two chord once again, but a different voicing. You and this chord is slightly different in that it's a nine thirteenth chord. And the way that I form it is this way. I know that the chord that I'm playing is the E flat, which is the two. So I add the minor seventh. Then I go a tritone up from there, which is G. Then I just go a fourth and a fourth. That's it might seem a little bit complicated, but that's just the way that I think about it. A different way is thinking um, what's the middle note of E flat major? It's G. So my right hand is going on G. Then again, a fourth and a fourth. And then I just add, I like to add this minor seventh. It gives it a, a little bit of more color. So we worship you, our Lord, you. And a, a, a small um, grace note or trill that I do is this. I basically slide my index finger, index finger, sorry about that. Index finger from B flat to B and then I land on C with my middle finger. So like that. So we worship you our Lord. You are you are worthy to be praised. Then to end the song or to end that first um section of the song. We worship you our Lord. You you can include that melody and then just go to the five, then a four over six, five over seven, and then we end on the one, all right? Now for this chorus part of the song, what we do is we know that the melody goes, right? It's basically going up from the five up the major scale back into the one so we can do something like this we start off in that chord we built out that voicing based on the melody we give. then we go into a um a seven minor seven flat five or a c minor seven flat five again it's basically a a e flat minor over c we give. then we go into the three so as you can see we're basically doing a seven three six chord or progression we give you. for the three it's a f7 oh. then we land on the six minor seven the. then a five Then for the four, we switch it up a little bit because we use a different voicing. Um, it includes that 13th note. This one right here, which is F. I mean, the E flat, sorry about that. So we give you the And real quick, let's go back into that five chord. Um, I just realized this. You can play a major six voicing it sounds slightly better in my opinion the then we go into the f sharp Re then we do a one over three all right Re then here um what i do is basically play a c sharp seven but i voice it so that the Minor seventh is my bass note or my last note all the way to the left. We worship. All right. So we were. This is a four over six. Worship you. Then we go into the again once um, once again that F sharp minor seventh. But instead of playing a two, a four over two, four minor over two, we just do a four minor over this a or the sharp five or flat um flat six so we 
worship you our lord then we land on that five and we repeat the same thing as before you are worthy to be praised all right so that's one of the ways that you can play this song you can switch it up a little bit more something like um for the chorus something like this we You see, so instead of doing that 736, what I did was a uh, 1, then a 5, then a 1, and then we're starting the, the chorus instead of on a 6, we started on a 4. So. Switch it up, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. All right, so what I'm going to do now, like I said at the beginning, is basically improvise through the song. That way, um, if something comes out and a new idea surges or something like that, you can steal the chords, try to learn them, and apply them to other songs. That's the best way to learn different musical vocabulary by applying them to different other or other songs that you learn.